we've seen this before. Kim Jong-il acted at several junctures in his uh, leadership of North Korea exactly as his son is acting. He jumps up and down, he screams at the West, he demands concessions, he says he'll attack countries if he doesn't get them. It, it may be that this new, very young, 30-year-old, untested, inexperienced leader is trying to prove himself in his own system with hawkish generals who've been in place for a long time who served his father. It may be that he needs to continue to convince the population to be one of the most isolated and poor populations of the world by drumming up this war fever and convincing people they've got to sacrifice for the state. There may be multiple reasons why he's doing this. It also may mean that the North Koreans are upset that the United States has its eyes more focused on the Middle East right now than it does on Asia. They want to get back into talks with us. They want more American food aid. They'd like another agreement on the nuclear issue. And I think President Obama will be very reluctant to give them that because both President Clinton and President George W. Bush entered into agreements with North Korea only to see that North Korea did not honor either of them. And they've cheated and lied on both of them. So I think you know, President Obama understands all this and he's playing a very tough game with them as he should. It's a bizarre insular regime, but it's not irrational. And Kim Il-sung, the founder, Kim Jong-il, the son, and now Kim Jong-un, the grandson, have always exhibited somewhat rational behavior. They're, they, um, they respond to power. They understand power because they're authoritarian. And the country that holds the greatest measure of power in the Korean Peninsula is the United States through our military forces, our air forces, and our land forces in the Korean Peninsula. As long as President Obama can remain very tough-minded and very powerful in this crisis, which he has been very, very, very effectively, then I think the North Korean regime will back down because they understand that any attempt to attack South Korea will be met with an overwhelming response from the South Koreans and the United States. The North Koreans are interested in one thing. They want their family to survive as leaders of North Korea. So I think we will see them withdraw from this very incendiary barrage of charges that they've made over the last few weeks. The key country here is China because China is the only country that has a measure of influence in North Korea because of Chinese food aid and fuel deliveries. Uh, and a long-time relationship between the Communist Party of China and the Kim Jong-un family. What's frustrating about China is that they don't often use the influence they have to produce better North Korean behavior. They're not pushing the North Korean, uh, North Koreans sufficiently, at least not obviously, in a way that would um, make China the responsible leader that it certainly wants to be and the rest of the world, the rest of the world wants it to be.